Hello everyone, this is Fu Pan from Ant Group, and my co-speaker Wei Yang from Alibaba. Today, uh, we will give a topic about the uh, practice and lending of cart containers in Ant Group and Alibaba. Uh, first, uh, we will give a short description about what cart containers. Cart containers is an open source community project working to build a secure container runtime that employs fast, lightweight water machines to increase container isolation. Cart containers act and perform like classic containers but provide stronger workload isolation using hardware ventilation technology as a second layer of defense. Now we can see that here is the cut containers keyboard. It, uh, the cut containers is run in a water machine and most of us will use the Cumin hypervisor as the water machine. Uh, cut containers highlights uh, about uh, four features. First, it's about uh, security. Uh, cut containers runs in dedicated kernel, providing isolation of uh, network, RO, and memory and can utilize hardware-enforced isolation with virtualization VT extensions. Uh, second is compatibility. It supports industrial standards including OCR container format, Kubernetes CR interface, as well as latency virtualization technologies. A third is its the performance. Uh, cut containers will deliver consistent performance as standard linked containers increase the isolation without the performance tax of standard virtual machines. And last but not least, it's about uh, simplicity. It eliminates the requirement for nesting containers inside the full blown virtual machines. Standard interface makes it easy to plug in and get started. As shown in the picture, cut containers bridges the gap between the hardware isolation of traditional working machines and the speed and the relatively small footprint of containers. For cut containers, each container or container port is launched into a lightweight VM with its own unique kernel instance. So, uh, for cut containers, uh, one container's box will not affect the other's containers. So, from the des description above, uh, most people will think that cut containers is only suitable for untrusted workloads. Is, right? is that right? No, I don't think so. I think cut containers is not only about its security, it's also about isolation. The isolation uh, from the latency, the efficiency, and its resource. For example, uh, in Ant Group, there are about uh, thousands of computer servers, and those computer servers uh, are deployed or running about uh, billions of services and those services some of the services 
a higher priority, but some of these contenders will will be low pri priority. If those、uh, tasks are in, run in classical containers, for example, the run C containers, as we know,、uh, the classical containers are share the same kernels. If if a low priority container. Takes a kernel critical routine, such as take a kernel logs, but at the same time,、uh, a high priority container or high priority tax has something to run. It will try to get to the logs too, but at the same time, the low priority task has take the log. So the high priority task can't get the lock. This will prevent the high priority tasks get to run as soon as fast. So I think cut containers can solve those problems. For example, uh, we can run most of the Low priority containers in cut containers, and the high priority tasks in the classical containers. As we can see, cut containers has three features. First, it's about is. Resource isolation. The second is about its common use, and last is resource efficiency. As we know, a、uh, cut container employed is、uh, virtual machines as its key component. So, compared with the classical containers, it has a high resource isolation, and it also has a common use, but. It has a weak resource efficiency. So, in Ant Group, we had done a lot of works to make it to improve its resource efficiency. So, what we do to improve cut resource usage? First, we Use the Rust VMM hypervisor replaced the Qemi hypervisor. As we know,、uh, the Rust VMM VMM hypervisor is a a little high lit high lit hypervisor compared with the Qemi as a traditional hypervisor. Second, we use the Rust language. To rewrite, rewrite the cut agent. The previous cut agent was written in Golang language, but the Golang language has a complexity runtime which has a large footprint footprint for memory. So we use the Rust language to write the cut agent. The third is we used the TTRPC replaced the gRPC, since the gRPC is very complex, and cut containers only used、uh, the simple feature of the RPC. So we think that there's no need to use gRPC here. Thus, we used uh, the TTRPC developed. Developed by the Containerd community to replace gRPC, and fourth, we used the VSOC replaced the VTL serial to communicate to communicate between the cart runtime and the cart agent. Last, we used the 
what you have what your fs replaced with 9p to share the container image between the host and the guest As we can see in this picture, there are uh, six key features we done in Ant Group. Here, the previous used gRPC, and here we use the TTRPC replace gRPC, and here we use the VSOC replaced with the virtual serial and we also use virtual vs replaced 9p and last but not least we use the lightweight rust vmm hypervisor replaced with cumin so with those efforts we will get the benefits the previous uh, the card agent with Gula and gRPC the memory footprint of the agent is about uh, 11 megabytes but if we use the rust agent use the, we use the Rust rewrite the agent and use the TTRPC replace gRPC. Last we got about uh, three thousand kilo kilo kilobit compared with the eleven megabit. So we got a uh, very efficiency on the memory usage. In addition to the previous efforts we or works we done in Ant Group, we also add a, an op option channel for to make our ops more much more friendly. As we know, for example, uh, if the card containers had some issues in its guest, uh, such as uh, the kernel panic or some issue or something wrong on the agent. There's no easy way to debug. But so we add an um, operating channel into cut containers. That we will use our option tools to easily log into the guest and to debug the issues. The second is about upgrade for cluster containers. Most uh, most people may think that uh, containers there's no need to uh, upgrade the containers since they can easily uh, stop the containers and relaunch the containers, but in Ant Group and in Alibaba, there are a lot of tasks uh, has a, a long run, long run lifetime, and uh, it's not easy to stop those services. So we have to figure out uh, a way to upgrade those card containers without. Uh, stop the services. Thus, uh, we developed the cut sim v2 with the hot upgrade mechanism and the agent hot upgrade mechanism. Thus, we can replace the cut v2 and the cut agent on fly without stop the current services. Now here this is the big picture 
of cut containers deployed in Ant and Alibaba Group. The left side is about the tools such as monitor, logs, and enhanced ventilation. And the left side is about its compatibility, stability, and safety. All of those are based on the Alibaba's X Dragon Metaware. And it run on AliOS. There are a lot, uh, lot of cases or services running with cut containers, such as the online services or offline services in Ant Group and Alibaba, and some middleware services. Uh, add compute services, uh, serverless or function communication, the big data communication, and offline tasks. Lots of uh, uh, tasks are running in cut containers now in Ant Group and Alibaba. Okay, that's all. Thank you.